does mirroring mean that the other person is exactly like me or that I am exactly like the other person? I believe that there is a misconception when it comes to mirroring. I was just reading some posts in Twin Flame Facebook groups and one person wrote, I constantly have to think that my person is with another person. Since there is mirroring, does that mean that my Twin Flame constantly thinks that I am with another person? Well, in theory that could be, but that is not exactly what mirroring looks like. This could mo be more the law of assumption. You know, if you have the assumption your person is constantly worrying that you think about another person, then that assumption will manifest and sooner or later your person will start thinking there may be another person. I would advise you not to take on that assumptions because, you know, the Twin Flame journey doesn't work when you try to manipulate things and play games. It doesn't work when you try to draw them in by trying to get them jealous. Mind games don't work with Twin Flames. And that is not what mirroring is about. Mirroring more likely has to do with what is inside you. So when you're worrying that there may be another person or that your twin flame or your specific person may be with someone else, what it mirrors back to you is not that they think the same thing and they're scared that you met somebody else. No, it mirrors to you that you are not in self-love because if you are in self-love, then you know, no, I am the best fit for my person. I'm the best match. I am the chosen one. I am the one that can make them happy. Nobody is as good as me for them. And if you have installed that belief, then of course there cannot be another person because that is no vibrational match to you. Only if you're not really strong in your self-love, you know, when you're scared that somebody else may take your person away, well, then that belief you hold is getting mirrored back to you and your person may mirror that back to you by being with somebody else, by not leaving the karmic, as people say, I do have a video about the karmic, not leaving the third party or trying to meet somebody else or actually meeting somebody else. It is your own belief that you are not the chosen one, that you are not worthy. Always say, if you always put yourself last, you show the universe, look universe, I just don't deserve that my needs are taken serious. I don't even take my own needs serious. Always put myself last. Then of course you cannot be chosen because you are in a vibration of I am never number one. I never put myself number one. And of course, on a spiritual journey, I mean, I don't even have to point out, I hope. It does not mean to step into the other energy of being completely egoistic or narcissistic. That's not the right energy. We are still connected to other people. We still want to help, yes. But we help others best when we take care of ourselves. And we do have enough energy left to take care of others if there is needs to take care of someone. If we never focus on ourselves, this is lack of self-love. How do you expect your person to mirror love to you, to be the chosen one? So that is how mirroring works. The other thing is, how does mirroring work? Well, if you think that there is somebody else, then you probably have made that experience where you were not the chosen one in the past and those experiences are still in your vibration that is why you even worry about that if you've always been the chosen one you would never worry about oh what is if i'm not the chosen one that means it's better to clear those energies out of your energy system one technique i really love is the revision technique i do have a video on that Check it out, it is in the manifesting playlist. And you can revise situation by literally overwriting old memories and replacing them with new memories. And in your new memories, you can create situation where you have always been the chosen one. And by doing that, you delete the program of not being the chosen one, which means you will stop worrying about not being the chosen one and then your person can choose you. So that is the difference. You know, just you worry about something does not mean the other person has the same worry. Mirroring means they show you what is out of balance inside you or also what is in balance. Mirroring also means the positive stuff, right? I always use another example. When we talk about mirroring, I have many clients say, yeah, but I'm not like that. I would never run away. 
or I would never ghost a person. So mirroring does not mean that they are exactly like you. If you have attracted, for example, somebody who cheats on you, mirroring does not mean that you are a cheater as well. It means that you have the vibration of cheating inside you maybe not because you did cheat i mean that could be you have the vibration of cheating inside you because you have cheated as well or you have been cheated on in the past and that is why you hold the energy of cheating and then you will attract somebody who shows you look you have an unhealed issue when it comes to cheating and you will attract that same thing over and over and over again also you need to remember that whatever we focus on is enhanced so if you have been cheated on and you're have not dealt with that you haven't healed that and subconsciously you have the fear of being cheated on as well unfortunately if we do have inner beliefs like yeah men or women are cheaters or relationships hurts and i get cheated on that of course will manifest in getting cheated on again and again and again and you will attract the cheater even though you may not be a cheater the same thing with ghosting just because your person is ghosting you that is a mirror does not mean that you would ever ghost somebody as well usually it's the opposite we have you know the terms of runner and chaser by the way i do have a video called why you should not call your twin flame a runner anymore check that video out usually if you have one wound of abandonment or fear of loss you have the energy of loss within you. Not ghosting, you have the energy of loss. And the other person usually has the energy of being maybe overburdened with feelings that may have different issues, that may have different causes. You know, maybe their mom was very overburdening, maybe their mom was kind of like toxic, that can be, and they learned that closeness is dangerous, or maybe their mom was not very much there and they never learned closeness and then of course they can be scared of closeness and what are they manifesting well they're manifesting their fear they would manifest the well let's say chaser for lack of a better word they would manifest the person that is maybe demanding too much closeness and that has expectations that they are scared of and then they run both manifested what they were scared of you know we can also call it the anxious attachment style you know that is the person usually what is in twin flames called the twin flame chaser who wants the other person close and then there's a the twin flame runner which could be translated to the anxious attachment style somebody who has kind of trauma and that's the thing it is connected to some kind of trauma they don't run because they're evil. They don't run because they're a bad guy that want to hurt you. They don't run because they don't care about you. It's often the opposite. They run because they do care, because they do something to them emotionally and they're not equipped to handle it at the moment because that is their fear. They fear closeness because that's their wound. And now if you try to heal them, you know, you try to take control, that will make it worse. They have to do that by themselves. So you let them and you take care of yourself. So mirroring shows us what are our beliefs or our hidden stuff. So a ghoster would not attract a ghoster because what would that do? You know, nothing. There is no development and souls want to develop. So one, two ghosters attract one another and they just stop talking and move on. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. We need one person who feels the pain more than the other in order to grow you know the person usually the distorted feminine with her all her fears come up and then she's noticing oh my god i need to heal that and how is she healing that well the other person is not there so the fear of abandonment wound comes up the lack of self-love you know not being a chosen one that wound comes up by the other person not being there not by giving them what they feel they need because the twin flame or any kind of divine counterpart never comes to give you anything you need that's your job they're not your savior. They're supposed to push you on a journey because we always talk about divine feminine and divine masculine. Divine feminine doesn't mean need saving. She is badass. Divine masculine doesn't need saving either. So it's to get into that kind of energy in order to heal and ascend. And that is what mirroring is. Mirroring is not sameness. It is often the opposite that we still carry within us. Often it is somebody who's been cheated on they wouldn't cheat because they know what it does to other people and then they wouldn't do it. Some would do it, you know, out of revenge. Yeah, yeah, if you can do it, I can do it too. That's very distorted energy, of course. 
eye for an eye mentality <laughs> but usually you wouldn't do it because you know it hurts and you wouldn't want to do that to another person so that is not how mirroring works mirroring shows you what is hidden within you what is unhealed within you so that you can become aware and conscious of what needs to be taken care of so i hope this explained mirroring <laughs> yeah it is a little bit different you know it's not the eye for an eye it's not sameness it is often opposites opposites attract you know the opposing not opposing wounds because the anxious and the avoidant attachment style often have similar wounds but they handle it in a different way so please don't be mad at your person for not being there give them that space because the more you chase them the more you try to close the gap that they need in that moment the further you push them away and it will just take longer to get to union so i would advise you not to do that anyway if you need help on your journey my contact information is below please like and subscribe that helps me grow my channel if this helped you and you want to leave a little tip my paypal is below and yeah i do see you in another video or in a personal coaching until then i wish you all the best now bye bye